They said gray, paved the way, changed the rain, released the pain, least you sane, getting paid, trend set in brighter days, dope a rap, night is set, high in Delhi, I'm a fighter jet, journey came. What's really good, ladies and gentlemen? It's the OG Boricua Don Dada, aka Chef. Y'all already know what it is. I got Muffins Martinez to my left. I got Rob K to my right. MLW Confusion, Urban Wrestling Network, Major League Podcast, whatever the name you might be searching for, that is there, is there. So, politically correct across the board. Um, I asked Muffins Martinez, first off, you know, we're in the middle of the week, it's Wednesday, Wednesday, y'all see this on Friday, like, subscribe, share, all that good shit for way from 700, but I was like, yo, MLW don't really got anything going on right now, so what do we talk? So we came up with some ideas, he hated one of the topics, so we're going to talk this topic first. WWE, NXT, PLE, aka pay-per-view. Whatever anybody wants to call these things nowadays, a joint yeah, premium, premium, live event. <laughs> premium live what's event. Premium live event. What's the difference? It's a big difference. It, you got to pay for this basic, event? Well, no. Pay per view is pay per view. You got to get it yeah. through your through yeah. to Comcast and all that kind it, of shit. It, it, it's a matter of semantics, premium. really. Yeah. Like overall, it's a matter of semantics. Like if you ordered pay per view, you only get to watch it once or however many times you paid for it a premium live event aka it allows them to basically anything that isn't a pay per viewing kind of thing so if you stream it you can watch if you have the wwe network you can watch it as many times as you want so it's yeah. technically not a pay-per-view and under the terms peacock, of semantics yeah. if you have peacock you watch it anytime you want as long as they have it in there so oh okay yeah, yeah listen I, fair yeah. enough yeah, it's it's a semantics. It's it's, but it comes off as like a stupid buzzword because it comes yeah. out it comes out of Vince's mouth. Yeah. Well, shock, right? Like, right. so uh, we seen Jordana Grace go to their show. Uh, I think it would have been a bigger thing if she did win, right? Like, it would have been such a oh shit moment. Uh, she comes up short, not surprising, but the buzz from this has already done way more for Impact Wrestling than AEW's bullshit Forbidden Door with them. Jordana Grace wants a joint pay-per-view. She really wants that smoke with the NXT girls. Um, Natalia, who we don't know where she is, she wants that smoke with Gal Kim. So if they do do a joint pay-per-view, and the, this is the, you know, this is the buzz, this is the word on the streets is this might happen. So talk to me about uh, Impact, well, TNA, WWE, or NXT, PLE. Gentlemen, I don't care who goes first. I will piggyback on the last go. I'll go. Yeah, you know, we we, we, we got used to the forbidden door. You know, everything is from Japan. If you don't know, any, if you at that time, you know any Japanese guys, you were getting some Japanese guys on AEW. Shit for beating door. Hey, now they even got the Mexicans, you know, CMLL. That was great. Two years later, WWE did opposite. WWE says they always the universal wrestling. So what they do, they said, you keep the forbidden door. We're going to use the intergalactic gate. We're going to bring Jordan Grace <laughs> from TNA, which has never happened before. A current TNA or a wrestler from another company champion at a WWE event all i know is when yeah, that not happened, royal rumble not the royal not rumble. A royal rumble but an actual employee of another Wrestling company match. in championship belt comes into your show at that time vince mcmahon uncle vince body rotated in his grave when he saw that and uncle vince is not dead yet but he, he rotated at least six times in his grave when he saw this so now it was first time it ever happened. Everybody went crazy. Everybody on, on social media giving what match they want to see. It was a success. Why did we have against all odds in TNA? Jordan Grace is supposed to call out or have an open challenge. This is that we may see someone from WWE NXT answer that challenge, which we saw that on. Sunday when we saw uh what was the girl's name? Um oh, when she, she grabbed the women's belt or whatever. Oh. FKA yeah. uh Dana Brooke. 
Yes. Well, Jenna Brooke and then the girl from NXT. And I forgot her name. Uh, is, is that Tatum? Tatum Paxley? Yeah, Tatum Paxley. Okay, I'm not. I'm not great at NXT. Yes. Like I, I look Paxley. at results occasionally, but yeah, this is the, this is your lane, bro. You're like the big NXT I guy. I know, but you know, I forget the names, man. Tatum Paxley likes shiny things, so who knows if she's the one that's going to answer that? It turns into a three way with uh, Ash by Elegance and Tatum Paxley and Jordan Grace. It will be awesome if you have someone from NXT show up there, or it could be Natalia. But pretty much right now, it looks like it's going to be someone from NXT showing up. Now, imagine would, if they take it. Would you like it to be uh, your girl Lola Vice? Because she's pretty hot right now. That, like, no, her name no, is no, she, no, she won't. No. Because you, you, you're going to have to take the loss. Either Ash is going to take the loss or she's going to have to take the loss. And you don't want to get low advice taking a loss on it when you try to you know push her up. So, so I'm pretty well, why sure. Why does she have to lose? Saying, well, that's the whole thing. Well, because Jordan Grace lost clean so? in NXT. So you want to return the favor and have your girl from NXT lose clean over here. If if it's a one on one and if it, if it's a triple threat with Ash by Elegance, they either or could take the fall. So, but pretty sure it'll be either Natalia or it'll be Tatum Paxley who's gonna show up. Supposedly, that's what we're hoping. Now, if that works out, imagine the repercussions of a actual WWE NXT against a TNA show. That will be the biggest blow to wrestling in a positive way in a long time. Now, you know, I'm pretty I sure. I agree, and I'm not trying to cut you off, but I'm going to wind up playing devil's advocate on this. And I'm going to have to play the bad cop to your good cop. Go ahead. So, once again, we see Impact going against not getting their feel, right? When they went against AEW, it was just they sent a few people to AEW, and that was that, and nobody really came. Yep. At this point, yeah, I get the idea of a joint pay-per-view with NXT and, w and Impact TNA, but why would you have, like, just say a, a Josh Alexander or a Moose, you know, their, their top-end guys, Eddie Edwards, uh, once again, is this, like, you're not good enough to be on a SmackDown or Raw? Like, at this point, it's kind of like TNA is our major, but NXT is not your major. And I was going to say that also where people were going to maybe think that way with why our big guys are going up against your minor league triple A team and we're the major league team. Unfortunately, outside, once again, outside of the universe, if it doesn't happen here, it doesn't matter anywhere else. And I'm throwing this, I'm throwing this out of left field. I'm throwing this out of left field. Doesn't mean anything. I'm just making shit up now. Imagine that this actually happens, and then imagine the next step where somebody says, Tikio says, you know something? We're losing money with NXT. We are losing money with NXT. We're not making any money with NXT. Everything is free when they go to Florida every week to get tape or live. What if we go and we buy, purchase TNA, and you make TNA your OVW for WWE, you get well, rid of, I, you get rid of I, NXT, and now you have TNA, a real brand where you can have the people from from NXT merge with the people from TNA who you want to keep. You're able to go up and down. You have a professional setting already. You could bring TNA to Florida and have it there on a weekly basis, live shows, the PLEs every month. You know, I, I'm just throwing shit out there. It's something that might be, that this might be, let's kick the tires and see how this works. Because NXT does not make money for WWE, for TKO. SmackDown and, and Raw does. No, and, and I hear what you're saying, but I don't think I would have referenced it as OVW. I would have referenced it more like an ROH because OVW. Well, because remember, back then, OVW was their AAA for WWE before yeah, they got rid of Impact is way above OVW's oh, for sure. level. For sure. And okay, so we, we, the we'll be the ROH light. Yeah, and there and the smart thing you said is keeping it in Florida, right? Because yes. 
Um, Impact Wrestling is known for Florida. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It's Orlando. Everybody knows it. They had their crowd. X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. I think that'd be fucking phenomenal if what you said goes into fruition. But I would like to see uh, guys like Josh Alexander and Moose and the Eddie Edwards and uh, the Mike Bailey's and all these well, other yeah, guys. And, and that right there will be something good because then you could push guys like uh, Alexander and Moose into uh, um, Raw and SmackDown. You could get rid yeah. of all, you could get rid of the old the old ones. People are like okay, we, we need to revamp. We we definitely gonna bring in you, so we definitely have to get rid of some people that don't make it here anymore. So you get this big yeah. revamp of NXT and SmackDown and Raw, and you bring the guys who like Alexander Moose, Eddie Edwards, boom, right into the big majors right away. And now you got brand new storylines to go for a long time because of all the matches that you could have and everything. You know, I could see something like that happening. But once again, this is just us just throwing shit out there. Imagine yeah. the women's division with what TNA has, who are way better than what WWE has on their on their Rob main rosters. At least fifty percent of them are way better than what they have now. Are you crazy? Oh, TNA female? Hell yeah! That's what I was saying. You no no no. You think that the TNA girls are better than the WWE girls? Fifty percent of them are way better than what they have now. On their main roster, uh, way better, way better, way better. Oh, oh, you Jordan are Grace, fucking... Jordan Grace is way better than fifty percent of what they have on the main roster. Yeah, Come get out of here, Jordan Grace. Hey, Rob K, I'm gonna stop talking. Please jump in and and go for it, man. Uh, I am, yeah, I am very interested to see where this goes because I, I, I definitely get the feel like this is going to be the beginning of a longer term re relationship. Whether this leads to a uh, TNA versus NXT pay per view, a one of the last forbidden doors, if we're going to use the for forbidden door phrase, um, or the tactical gate, yeah, or <laughs> on our, or let's let's go through the rumor mill, but this is not being reported by anything that reputable is that people are starting to float the idea that WWE has taken an interest in purchasing TNA, which also kind of goes into some of the backstage rumblings that we have because they got rid they've done like a fire a fire sale of like backstage staff recently yes. um you know yeah we can say what we want about like the departure of uh scott Demore, but they've cut a lot of backstage personnel as of recently too most notably who just got signed by aew uh their former head of created uh rd ed uh, rd uh evans uh yeah Ev rd evans archibald peck um so like you know so there's something there, there's stuff going on like backstage that's like does if you start thinking about it, it can definitely lead you to the doom and gloom uh but as a wrestling fan though still we got this big crossover event on the horizon it's like very fascinating and i do want to point out like the significance of this like people are like oh wwe doesn't work with anyone that is a fallacy what wwe doesn't do is let those people on their tv yes. <laughs> usually they, they have not let an invader on their tv since the original since the original ecw like yes wwe has worked with other companies they've sent shinsuke nakamura to noah most notably for uh great muda's last stand they actually had a like a quasi talent agreement that led to them absorbing evolve wrestling so uh, the street profits are like former evolve tag team champions yeah. and like that's how they ended up getting like joe gacy austin theory and like a handful of other guys as well uh and gabe sapolsky uh so like this is so like we uh, wwe does have you know history of working with other promotions but not in a high pro high profile situation such as this again like allowing those talents to come on their tv and so see like so last year we had um had mickey james pop on at the, it was last year two years ago I know time means nothing now, but they had yeah. Mickey James, current uh, at the time, current Knockouts champion, pop up at the Royal Rumble, yeah. and then this past year, now with Jordan Grace popping yeah. on t uh, uh, both the Royal Rumble and now NXT TV, yeah. uh, so like it's getting it's getting crazy, go nuts out here, uh, which like as you know as a fan of the as a fan of wrestling, like 
this is great because anytime you can bring something high profile in it is going to be great however again behind that bright shiny object is the dark cloud of like the rumor mill of tna being absorbed by wwe which ultimately i do think would be horrible for business overall because that's technically one less place for everyone to work and wwe doesn't have a great a great track record of uh absorbing companies while saying that they'll still be their kind of their own thing or whatever they just kind of get sucked well, right in 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 fairness ecw was never going to work because vince had his feels like oh Oh, this is okay. This gotta go. WCW competition. This gotta go. It's no longer uh, Vince McMahon just buying something to get a library and then you know uh, we're the WWE. Fuck everyone else. Right, but we're still dealing with uh, with uh, Triple H, who has had his history of also taking the shovel to talent that didn't need to have be shoveled per se they, like he buried talent left and right like yes like people people still like oh he's papa h look he's, he's booking good now he still has his shiniest of shiny toys and once again i'm going to throw out there like yes this is a new era but like triple h it was still a high-ranking executive and probably could have done a bit more with things like evolve instead he cherry-picked people to be like his right-hand men and some pet projects of his and then let the rest of the company go Will well, that change well, in the future? I don't know. Well, right now, don't forget, it's no longer owned by Uncle Vince. Is now TKO is the major owner of that. But and that yes, doesn't affect that doesn't affect the creative or how things are going to go either. Like they kind of they've, they've let TN, they've let like both UFC and WWE kind of just continue to do their own thing. Exactly. The money. But I'm pretty sure they have closed eyes on both ventures. Yeah, we're gonna, give you, we're gonna give you free reign, but we're still gonna have someone overlooking to make sure that things like this don't happen. So yeah, Triple H got free reign, but I'm pretty sure someone is, is overlooking his all, you know, his every move. Plus, I found out EO Sky is going to marry Gold. Yep, uh, that, show yeah. coming up in the next couple of weeks. So that's another, you know, Mary Gold is, you know, uh, well, that was a matter of time. Also, yeah. according to the rumor mill, since. Uh, uh, Marigold is unofficially like a WWE approved project. Yeah, exactly. With uh, Rossi. So that's another female that's going to be out in a different company that would have never happened under Uncle Vince's watchful eye. That now is being led to believe like we're going out there. So we claim ourselves to be the universe. Now we are going to show you that we are the universe because we're going to have guys and females in different companies competing and showing that we let people out and we let people come in which what they did with uh jordan grace and if somebody from nxt shows up on friday at, on tna that's going to be huge because then that'll be the first time a contracted person from a different company is working out of a tna under a contract so and they make sure to tell us that jordan grace does not work here she is contracted with tna yeah, not, not like the old days where, oh my God, they don't work here. Scott Hall, you know, Kevin Nash, they don't work here. They're covering in and we believed them back then, you know, 20 years ago. Oh, they don't work there. But before we knew about the third sheets, we didn't know anything about that. So, oh, they don't work here, but they're here. Yeah, they're really I signed mean, by us, but we don't, we don't, we're not going to let you guys know yet. But so. Triple H did a lot with ICW as well. And we've seen. Piper Niven, who is now going against, uh, I think, Bailey for the yeah. championship belt. Yeah, and she's a nice CW product. Uh, you had Kaylee Ray. Uh, condolences. First off, condolences to Kaylee Ray because yeah. she's going through some shit right now. Yeah. But she comes from ICW. You had, um, oh, man, I don't remember what he's called now. Uh, but he was the bruiser way. He yeah, Pete Dunn. Uh, Dunn. Mustache now. Uh, well, most notably Tyler Bates because they did let uh Trent Seven go. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, no, but WWE no WWE like had like well WWE decimated <laughs> the uh British independent scene. Like yeah they technically worked with ICW but well, like they destroyed progress because ICW is still good. Well progress yeah. needed to go. It's uh ICW is <laughs> but it's an ICW all the best players gone. Nah they I mean used to big Damos back there there's a bunch of guys, and they build well, their own Dable shit. was in WWE before he was released. Yeah, yeah, but well, he's doing his thing. He, at one point, he was with uh, when he was with Sanity. He yeah. went back there as Sanity. You awesome. know, like 
Uh, so, I say, and uh, Axel Tishman came, came back for there. Like, uh, probably ICW's like is a hotbed, but but it, it benefits by basically being like the only like, the last remaining major independent promotion yeah. in Britain. Absolutely, uh, Scotland. 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 Yeah, big um, difference, homie. Big difference. Well, if you call it Britain, it's the entirety of the Isles. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I would have said England, if I would have been, if I would have said England, yes, I I could be executed. <laughs> but and right but so. let, let's just make sure we get it right. You know, we don't want an international incident. So yeah, we do not like that guy Muffin and Rock Gate here. England is this, and they are wrong. Yeah. No, no, no. I think I'll be the first person. Okay, because I'm pro ICW for a hot minute, but um. They've done their thing with the intergalactic gate, um, yes. aka Thank the Stargate. You. But um, yes. listen, uh, there's a lot of really. Uh, it could be a lot of fun, and it could be kind of dangerous as well. But I think that if, if they're both? pulling the trigger on this, it's not to just. I need a library, and I think this is cool. Yes. It will definitely be its own brand. It, I mean, TNA is a fucking name, yeah. so it is what it is. I mean, hey, Rob, you got I know anything left? This. All I know is this: if that happens, just imagine the revenue that some of these players will get. The eyes a lot of the TNA guys will get. A lot of these individuals' contracts are coming up. You I mean, know, they, they make a good showing in a WWE ring, they might get snatched up. And once you get snatched up, and you never smell that WWE money, it goes up six six zeros so you know what i don't know about extra six zeros because that is five zeros i I don't know but what i would say if wwe buys tna i I would love for mike santana to join the lwo (laughs) i'm just saying oh the lwo yeah you know like i mean you'd have queens with uh let's say selena de la renta um, the Trinidad, you have the LES with Mike Santana, yeah. you bring it back home to New York. Listen, you know what, WD, stop fucking around, buy TNA, make it look good, give it the production it needs. It is what it is for my two guys. We out of here. Deuces. Deuces.